All right, everyone. We're back. Matt Hackham. Desecrated Cistern. Blasphemous. Poison area. We're gonna do this like a champ. We're just gonna rush it. We're gonna try and do, or at least get to the next boss in 30 minutes. We're gonna get another herb. Some healing item. It's not healing for us. It's healing for Tirso, the people in the town. Yeah, yeah. Jumped right into that toxic. Don't want to talk. Don't want to get hit by that toxic too much. Um, if I remember, I'm trying to remember certain things. Nope. That's not the one. This is, I believe, the way you're supposed to go? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. We're gonna... We're gonna save ourselves in a minute from that. That's not gonna be a bother. We just need to get into here. Oh, boy. Get another bile vessel. So now that'll bring our healing up to four. Or try to get it up to four. <coughs> oh. That was nice. Okay. Sludge monsters. Navigate this without getting hit. Look at me. I should have. I should have got hit there. But I didn't. Need him further away. Nope. There we go. That was good. Blow him up. He's gonna recover. He's gonna come back. See, yeah, that's the bell guy. The bell guy brings the other bell guys back. Uh, there's a sludge that falls on this ladder. Oh. As long as I block it, I'm okay. Just need to get down here. The bell. It must. Be must be around here. It won't stop ringing. It won't stop ringing. We're going to fill up the empty vessel. That recovers our health and our vessels. That brings it up to four. Perfect. We're going to drop. There's the drop. Oof. Bunch of damage, but that's okay. We have four heals now. Um, I don't remember if this requires a thing to get through, or if it's just a... Yeah, I think it does require a thing to get through. Yeah, we don't need this. We don't need to be here. We're just gonna try and get through the cistern. Once we're through here, we're in really good shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heal. Don't do this. I was about to say we're in really good shape. Humorous. This is Wasteland of Bird Churches. Okay. I 
Could have gone back and gotten our toxic thing. <laughs> I'm about to say, but I'm doing pretty good dodging these. Nope. Not doing pretty things. Dog guy. Trying to remember exactly where I am. Um, yes. I want to go back this way, actually. Because there's... Nope, not that one. More illusion walls. This one here? Yes. We're going to increase our fervor. Increase our mana thing. And at the same time... That's going to fully recover it. And then... We're going to go through this one. This one gives us a thing that I don't want to come back for. Pass... Ah, I was going to say pass through the poison, but... That'll give us an item, or it, we need three items to give us an item. Um, going down here is a waste of time right now. Uh, yeah, back up. I'm navigating this so much better. I mean, it helps to know exactly what enemies you're going to be running into type of thing. And obstacles like poison. So I'm jumping up here, we'll try and get up real quick. We're not gonna rest up here, but we're gonna open up the ostuary. Break open that wall. Back in town. We're gonna go see a very grotesque looking thing, person, I don't know. It's a lot, it's a lot to take in. Two faces greet you, penitent one. Nasi, men Nasi Mentio. The grace of bring me the... Bring me the... Oh, I don't have enough, do I? Yeah, I don't have enough Tears of Atonement. Of course. Bring me the... That's great, okay. So we're not going to do that, I guess. So what that does is silver, you hand him a flask, so you're actually sacrificing a whole flask. And he starts tinkering with things. So basically he increases the amount of health that your flasks recover in sacrificing one of your flasks. Pretty good exchange if you ask me. So now we've hit our third area. I haven't done a boss yet. I didn't mean to do that. But we're gonna try and keep going through. He basically breaks the wall that we need to get through. We're gonna try and not fight these guys, because they take a while. Good. 
keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, is she gonna? Yeah, she does appear. Okay. I can't run away, can I? Okay. She's not technically a boss because she doesn't have a health bar. So, we're not gonna lose one of our patients to the silliness. Perpetua's protection. Cannot heal. I need to get to a pre. Uh, pre oh, penitent, my Hi, guy. Yes. Who could help me? I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna be a good guy this whole game. Help all the people. No, that's not what I. You don't want to hit those. Okay, so there's no pre yet. and spam that so that we kill these guys. I don't have a lot of health. Yeah, it's all the way back there. The thing is, there's a guy, there he is, ringing the bell. So now that that's done, there's no more ding-dongs that are gonna hit me. This guy might get me, because I didn't kill him. That's okay, I get... No, 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 no. Uh, I'm pretty sure my, my sword passed through that one. That's okay. So what I want to do, because I don't want to fight that guy head on, I'm going to do this. And I'll kill him, because he's going to throw something at me, and it's hard to hit it. You can't block it, you can't, you can't really dodge it, because it's straight at you, it's kind of homing. You can smack it with your sword, but it moves so quick. We're going to get a thing later that'll create branches out of those little knots. And we'll get that... Uh, that thing there. So I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there is an altar right above us. I just gotta get through the enemies to get to it. And, uh, and then we got this guy who's ringing the bells. There we go. So we're at the altar, and we're in a place called Jondo. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to stop right here for our episode. So thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back very shortly with another one. See you in the next one. Bye.